This is Jesse Farrell, Social Media Manager and Meteorologist for AccuWeather.com. Today I'm taking a look at the new Accurite Atlas Weather Station. The options for the station include the sensor suite itself, the new color display, and the internet connection with Amazon Alexa. There's a lot of new features with this station including unique sensors, better sighting options, and different power options. The sensor add-ons include light intensity, UV, and lightning. This is what the station looks like on the internet and at my desk, and this is what it looks like outside my house. In the last few weeks, my Atlas has seen a lot of weather, from feels like temperatures in the 90s to actual temperatures in the 20s. The Ultimate Accurite Atlas package includes all these accessories, and now it's time to take a hands-on look. This is Jesse from AccuWeather, and we are unboxing the AccuWrite Atlas weather station. We've got a list of instructions here. We also have some accessories to add, lightning detector, remote battery pack, AccuWrite access for the internet, telescoping wind kit, and of course, The display. This is a whole different kind of weather station than we've seen before. Note that the uh, top lifts up and you can see the tipping spoons in there for the rain gauge. And one of the first things the instruction says, step five, remove the rain stabilizer. There it is. That was just to keep it from freaking out in the mail. It's just in there with a couple of pieces of tape. No big deal. And now you can put that back in. So make sure when you set this back down you want the uh, clip to go on the notch, not touching the electronics. And then when you press it down, and then it'll snap into place. Now you can see the unit has several solar panels, one on the side, one on the end, another on the side. You can see the wind equipment here, which uh, looks much more rugged than the previous Accurite uh, wind equipment. And then we have the pole extension that will Play around with as well. Now we're going to install the batteries. Let's see if we can pop this out. And what you want to do is you want to get some really good batteries. If you're going to be using this in the winter, you're going to need um, special batteries. In this case, I'm using Rayovac High Energy. And you just install them in there like you normally would. One thing you can do to make things easier on yourself is kind of tip the station on the edge of a table like this, where the wind equipment is hanging off, and that way you don't damage it while you're trying to put in the batteries. And if you also have the uh, Lightning detector, you can install that. It's very simple. It's a very tiny little piece of equipment here. Um, this is good for a couple of reasons. One is that it can stay out by um, not close to the station, so you don't have any interference problems. So it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a little notch on the side of it here, and you just pop that in. And that, that part of the wind kit comes with its own uh, instructions and a long wire. I just wanted to mention briefly why you need this. Temperatures are measured at two meters up, but wind is not necessarily measured at that height. In fact, it's supposed to be uh, 10 meters up, which is 30 feet. It's pretty simple. In fact, I've uh, fashioned a couple of these things myself. Um, it's basically just a pipe connector. So that's going to go on the side and then the anemometer will extend up from there. In addition to the wind extender, you can also see in here that they've got this adjustable uh, knob so that when you put the station on a pole, um, you don't have to use this um, uh, extension standard for all their stations, but can be kind of awkward uh, in some cases if you're trying to mount it on a tripod. So that'll actually make it easier for the amateur weather enthusiasts as well. Now one other... Uh, add-on that we have here is the remote battery pack and this can actually be very useful because what you can do is if you end up putting the station way up high um, you can put your batteries in here and this is what it looks like inside you put your batteries in there and then you don't have to worry about um, climbing up to the station to replace the batteries which is good and that's all we have for the AccuWrite Atlas unboxing and review I'm Jesse Farrell meteorologist and social media manager for AccuWeather.com let me know if you have any questions about this station